channel so today in this video we'll be talking about analytics fox softwares interview questions and the interview process and this video was shared by one of our subscriber friend so this video was sent us back in 2000 like august 10th 2021 and this was for a java backend developer role so he th this is the mail that we have received so this was for three plus years experience of candidate and there were three rounds like first round was a telephonic round which was a technical round second round was a manager manager round which was a virtual round and third was an hr discussion which was again a telephonic round so this is the mail that we have got interview experience at analytics fox software java backend role hi i am sharing my interview experience with you all which was conducted at analytics fox software and thanks for you and your team for the guidance on the interview questions details about the rounds and questions are below 95 percent of the questions from your interview series only this interview was conducted based on three plus years of experience once again thank you so much and keep doing this type of great work to help others salary offered was seven lakhs per annum please hide my details so basically this was for three years of experience guy and seven lakhs is a decent package i would say so let us see the questions and before getting into the questions there is one important thing that i would like to discuss about do you know that lot of companies now offer jobs only based on your skills so you don't need to worry if you don't have a degree from a good college or if you lack experience talent and skills is all that matters if you think you have got all the relevant skills for a job in backend development the guaranteed salary of a minimum 4 lakhs per annum for non technical roles and 6 lakhs per annum for a tech roles and this can go up to 15 lakhs or more than that there is no age restriction to apply experienced candidate can get up to 50 percent hike in salary by applying to their next job through relevant i'm going to share you with you two amazing companies that will hire you in just 15 days the first company is moengage so this is a b2b SaaS based customer engage platform and you can see the, the team size is 200 to 500 and ctc is up to 25 lakhs per annum and the headquarters is san francisco the other company that i would like to share is dukan you might have definitely heard about this app dukan which this is an indian based app so the team size is 50 employees uh, ctc that can go up is like 9 lakhs per annum and the headquarters is in bangalore and you can go through this site you can get to know more about this and who hasn't heard about these two companies these companies are now hiring freshers and people with no experience through relevant by an academy all you have to do is register for the relevant test which is totally of free of cost like there is a simple way to register this was shared in the previous video as well how to register the registration process video will be attached in the description as well and you don't need to have a video resume required anymore you can have a look at relevant achievers twitter page as well where you can see people who have achieved a good score in relevant test and have got their dream jobs the best part about relevant by an academy is you don't need uh, any specific qualification just the relevant test which is a free of cost and it is open for all age groups relevant achievers who have switched the jobs have really got more than 50 percent of salary hikes and video resume is also not required so what are you waiting for you can register to the test and take the test up your convenient time the description to the relevant site is there in the description so don't miss this golden opportunity so guys coming to the first question it, it was related to immutability concept so questions were like what is immutable in java and conditions of immutable like specific specifically she wants to know about getter and setter methods and immutable so for this question you can answer this in this way so immutable class in java means that once the object is created we cannot change its content in java all the wrapper classes like integer boolean byte short and string are immutable so how to create immutable class in java we can declare create our own immutable class as well prior to going ahead go through the characteristics of immutability in order to have a good understanding while implementing the same following are the few requirements the class must be declared as a final so, so that the child classes can't be created data members in the class must be declared as private so that the direct access is not allowed data members in the class 
must be declared as final so that we cannot change the value once it has been as assigned. The parameterized constructor should initialize all the fields performing a deep copy so that the data member that, ca that can't be modified with the object reference. Deep copy of object should be performed in the getter method to return a copy rather than returning the actual object. And like if you want, you can answer this as well. Like what are the advantages of immutability? So immutable objects are thread safe. You can you will not have any synchronization issues. Immutable objects are good map keys and set elements since these typically do not change. Once created, immutability makes it easier to write, use and reason about the code like class invariant is established once and then unchanged. Immutability makes it e easier to parallelize your program as there are no conflicts among the objects. The internal state of the your program will be consistent even if you have exceptions. Reference to immutable objects can be cached as they are not going to change. So this is the answer that you can give for like on the immutability concept in Java. So coming to the next question. So what is multi-threading and synchronized keyword? For that we can answer it in this way. So multi-threading in Java. So multi-threading in Java is a feature that allows concurrent execution of two or more parts of a program for maximum utilization of CPU. Each part of such program is called a thread. So threads are lightweight processes within the process. And coming to the synchronized keyword in multi-threaded programs may often to come into a situation where multiple threads try to access the same resource and finally produce errors and unforeseen results. So it needs to be made sure by some synchronization method that only one thread can access the resource at a given point of time. Java provide, provides a way of creating threads and synchronizing their tasks by using synchronized blocks. Synchronized. So synchronized blocks in Java are marked with synchronized keyword. A synchronized block in Java is synchronized on some object. All synchronized blocks synchronized on the same object can only have one thread execution inside them at a time. All other threads attempting to enter the synchronized block are blocked until the thread inside the synchronized block exits the block. So this was about the synchronized keyword and multi-threading in Java. So coming to the next section of questions, exception handling. How can we handle exceptions in Java? Can we have try block without a cache block and try with the resource? For these things, we can answer this in this way. So what is exception handling? An exception is an unwanted event that interrupts the normal flow of the program. When an exception occurs, program execution gets terminated. In such cases, we get a system generated error message. The good thing about the exceptions is that we can handle it in Java. By handling the exceptions, we can provide a meaningful message to the user about the issue rather than a system generated message, which may not be understandable to a user. So how can we create, how can we handle exceptions in Java using try catch and custom exceptions and can we have try block without catch? Yes, we can have it is possible to have a try block without a catch block by using a finally block. As we know, finally block will execute always execute even there, if there is an exception occurred in try block except system dot exit try with resources in Java try with resources statement is a try statement that declares one or more resources. The resources is an object that must be closed after finishing the program. The try with resources statement ensures that each resources is closed at the end of the statement execution. So this was about the try clash and exceptional handling. The next section of questions are from Collection. What is collection framework? Difference between hash map and hash table. What is the best collection? So collection framework, you have to explain the entire hierarchy of the collection, like which interface is ex what is extend, what is implementing which interface, which class is extending which class, what all comes under list, what all comes under set, and why map is not in, under the collection framework, and all those things. And coming to the hash map and hash table differences. So we can state it in this way. So hash map is not synchronized. It is not thread safe and can't be shared between many threads without proper synchronization code. Whereas hash table is synchronized. It is thread safe and can be shared with many threads. Hash map allows one null key and multiple null values. Whereas hash table doesn't allow any null key. 
or value hash map is generally preferred over hash table if thread synchronization is not needed so this was our, the difference between hash map and hash table and coming to the next section of questions difference between a thread controller and rest controller and what is component a thread component annotation so basically the difference between the rest uh, thread rest controller and controller is one is from spring and one is from rest and if at all we are using a thread controller then we need to specify a thread response body but whereas if we are using a thread rest controller we don't need to specify a thread response body and a thread component scan yeah you need to explain about that thing and coming to the next section of question difference between hibernate and jpa difference between primary key and unique key and basically the the difference between hibernate and jpa is nothing but jpa is the specification and hibernate is the implementation and coming to the difference between primary key and unique key we have the answer primary key is a column that is used to uniquely identify each tuple of table it is used to add integrity constant to the table only one primary key is allowed to to be used in a table duplicate and null like empty values are not allowed not valid in the case of primary key primary keys can be used as foreign keys to other tables too whereas coming to unique key is a constant that is used to uniquely identify a tuple in a table or in a row in a table multiple unique keys can be present in a table null values are allowed in case of unique key this can also be used as foreign keys to another table so these were the questions this was related to hibernate or like db related things we can say is the next question is really was on query i believe yeah my sql query to get second highest salary so our friend has already shared the query as well so select star select employee dot salary from employee order by employee salary dsc limit one comma one and this actually doesn't work in all the situations so we have to use other way as our friend here we are sharing this uh, this is not the perfect solution for that and coming to the next question so these were the managerial round interview questions so these were the questions like three questions like some scenario based questions were asked give the situation and uh, given the situation and ask what should be the workflow explain in detail every step i have explained to him write a program to get the frequency of numbers inside an array so this is a program also that he has been given the program is having array of integers so he, we our friend has used java 8 streams java 8 concept like group by and identity and counting so this was already shared on our channel as well so you can go through that video as well so these were the questions guys that were shared by our subscriber friend i hope you have liked it and it might help someone at least please do like the video if it is a helpful video for you and here is the complete mail that our friend has sent to us you can go through it hard for a minute and you can go through it like we have already shared all the interview questions you can go through that as well so this is it so these were the questions that were asked at analytics fox and if you are on the channel for the first time and if you wonder what we are and what we do so we are basically a base bunch of software engineers who attend interviews at different companies and share our real-time interview experiences through these videos you can visit our channel and you can get benefited of the videos that has already shared and because lot of people do comment on like lot of people do mail us like thanking for sharing the interview questions that are helping out and if you want to share your interview experience you can share it you can mail us your interview experience at the email id that is there in the descriptions mm. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe, like, share, give, provide the feedback in the comment section. And thank you for watching.